It is the 25th day of imminent Christmas. That means it is, is Christmas Day. Um, yes, so this is the kind of Christmas special, I guess, of the imminent Christmas advent calendar. So for those of you who subscribe to the channel and stuff for the last 24 days, I've been opening trading cards, um, one a day, in a kind of faux advent calendar. And I thought, well, it's kind of weird to do for 24 days and not do anything for the 25th. So I thought I'd get something prepared that wasn't quite trading cards, but it's kind of in the spirit, and that's blind boxes and blind bags of figures. So today I've got a bit of a selection of those to go through, basically. Kind of things I thought were really interesting and I wanted to open anyway, really. So we've got two different things, as you can see here. So the first thing we've got is the Coca-Cola Final Fantasy X figures. Now, these were Japan exclusive, as you can tell from all the um, all the like kanji and kana uh, written there. There are bits of you know there are bits of English, collect all thirty two, and the like. Uh, so this is all themed around Final Fantasy X, as you can see. We'll get into it more in depth in a second. And the next one is some Kingdom Hearts, oh well, Kingdom Hearts 2 specifically, vinyl figure um, mystery boxes. So these are from Funko. Yes, I know, they're from Funko. Uh, but, you know, I, I'll i give them a pass because these figures look pretty cool. So I've got three of each, so I'm going to put the Final Fantasy ones there and the Kingdom Hearts ones there. I'm going to move this to the side there we go, we can almost no longer see it. Let's move the camera. All right, we are back. Right, so, I'm going to put the Kingdom Hearts figures off to the side a bit, because we'll do those second. And first up, we're going to break into the Final Fantasy X Coca-Cola figures. So this is the um, special figure collection, C uh, Volume 1. So, the only other ones I'm aware of are there's figures for Final Fantasy 7, 8 and 9, I do believe as well. And as you can see here, the hole there, I think they came on bottles of Coke, so that, you know, the top of the Coke bottle is there. Um, and yeah, so we've got a list of characters we can get. So we can get Tidus, Yuna, Waka, Lulu, Oren, Riku, Kimi, uh, Kimari, <laughs> it's Kimi Maru, eh? Kimari and Seymour. And so we have the, uh, sorry, I couldn't quite read that. We have the real version, the defamation, defam, deformed version, basically deformation. We have the uh, real crystal version, the deformation crystal version. So a friend of mine actually opened some of these recently. So the crystal versions are these, but in translucent red color, basically. Now I don't know what's like common and what's not or whatever. Um, so it's going to bust into it, really. So Final Fantasy X is definitely one of my favourite Final Fantasies. So when I saw the... Ooh! Oh my god, we started with it! So, right. One of the figures I most wanted was Lulu to add to my waifu shelf. Um, which is, you know, slowly growing. And we got it! We got her in one! That's amazing! Holy shit! Oh, I'm so happy! So, the other thing about this series is they all hold Coke bottles if they're in the de in the deformed version. Um, oh, and she has one. That That's amazing. That's really nice as well. It's super detailed. And uh, I love the paint and stuff. She's got all the belts going on. Her necklace. Oh, man, that's fantastic. Actually, um, while I remember, I'll be right back. All right, so I just remembered as well. So I've got this figure, which is Kimari with the Coca-Cola bottle, which I bought years ago at a Comic-Con for, like, I think a pound or something. And, um, yeah, I, I just had to buy it because it was so, like, strange. I, I've never seen a Kimari figure up until then. The fact he was holding a Coke bottle was something. But now... Ah, oh, we have Lulu to join him. That is amazing. Ah, oh, I really like Lulu. She's definitely one of the best Final Fantasy girls. So, ah, oh, I'm so pleased with that. Right, 
Let's get on to the next one then. So, um, so as you can see as well on the front here, you do get the real versions, which are kind of, they're, they're taller and stuff, and they, they're not chibi, but they don't hold the Coke bottles. So that's what holds them apart, sets them apart, I guess. I think deformed are the Coke holding mascots, and real are the non-Coke holding mascots. Right, next up, oh, okay yo let's oh wait <laughs> was oh wait no 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 i was correct yo this has been an amazing <laughs> back to back we've got uh yuna okay then now unfortunately over the years her staff has bent uh quite a bit unfortunately that is a shame i'll try I try and look into gentle ways to do this. You can use hot water, I believe, and like, yeah, I'll I'll try and do it. But I mean, that's pretty detailed as well, right? That's like, that's quite nice. I'm v I'm very pleased with that. I don't have any Una merch. I don't have very much of any Fun Fancy Ten merch actually. It's uh, it's something I may look into getting in the future. And our third pack. Um, I was going to say, who else would I like? I mean, I'd like anyone, really, to be honest. Uh, oh, hang on. Ah, it's stuck. <gasps> yes! Holy crap! Okay then, let's go! Our third and final one is the real version of Tidus, or Tidus, depends how you want to pronounce it, holding a Coke bottle, so I was wrong. Um, so he's not deformed, because obviously... His style is quite different to Lulu there, but he is still- oh, he's holding a different coke bottle! His is fully red, isn't it? Dude! Okay then! Ah, oh, th this has turned out a lot cooler, because, um, so the- the crystal versions are really nice as well, they're like translucent red and stuff. And I was expecting all of them to be that, or like most of them, because I thought the painted versions would be rarer or something. I've had a really good turnout today. That is really cool. So we've got his sword and stuff. That stood up a lot better, I think, than Yuna's staff. That ah, oh, actually, I just realised. There we are. I have I have the nice happy couple there. That's that's so cool. And yet again, he's also pretty detailed as well. Got all his like little zips and stuff, and his hair. That's really nice. Ah, oh, I'm so happy I bought these now. Um, if you want to get some of these, there are still a fair few knocking around on eBay and online and stuff. They're not horribly expensive, they're kind of getting up there now, because obviously this is coming on to 20 years old now, maybe? So, I guess if you're interested in, you know, opening blind bags of them, do them soon. But, yeah, that that turned out really well. I'm not going to count Kimari, because I didn't, I didn't pull Kimari, really, but... Ah, oh, I'm. I think I'm happiest with Lulu, but that is that's fantastic. Uh, right, I'm gonna move these to the side, and we'll get on to the Kingdom Hearts things. BRB. All right, I am back. So it is time to crack open these Kingdom Hearts boxes. So take a very quick look on the back. There is ten to collect. No, twelve to collect. <laughs> I cannot count. So we've got, you know, pretty standards. We've got Sora, we've got Donald, Mickey um, in his king garb, I believe. Roxas in his regular outfit. Kyrie in a schoolgirl, Goofy. Chip and Dale, uh, Riku. Then we've got Roxas in his Organisation 13. Mickey in his Organisation 13. Uh, we've got Axel, and then we've got Riku in his Organisation 13 as well. So there's one in 12, one of each. Don't think there's any that are particularly rarer than the others. Um, and yeah, I just kind of saw these online uh, as well, whilst looking around, and I thought, well, I kind of like the artwork. As I mentioned, these are these are Funko, made by Funko. Um, and I'm not, I'm not crazy on Funko Pops, I'm not going to lie. I've probably mentioned in the past, but it's just, I don't like the style. I don't like anything about them, really. But you know, these... These I kind of like. The eyes are a little bit derpy on some of the characters. Um, but that's, that's about it, really, to be honest. I, 
I still like them and I don't have any Kingdom Hearts 2 merch and I recently finished playing Kingdom Hearts 2, like fully. Uh, I played it years ago, but I might discuss that soon in another upcoming video, so stick around for that. Anyway, just going to bust into them. Oh, they're in their black bag. Do they come? No, okay, there's nothing, uh, nothing at the bottom there. So, they're kind of light, but they do feel a bit chunky as well. Oh, I see a yellow. It is. Hey, <laughs> it's Donald's. Okay, let's move that to the back. Let's take a look. Yeah, actually, these are pretty, these are pretty detailed, actually. Like, they look better than I thought they would. Yeah, dude, the detailing and stuff is like, that's really nice. I, I'm going to give full credit to Funko here. That was a really nice looking Donald. I know he looks a little bit chibi and a little bit deformed. But I don't know, that's, that's pretty nice. That is like, oh dear, ah, I think I found an issue. <laughs> okay then, that is the issue. He looks good, but he cannot stand up. Um, I'm gonna go need to, uh, I'm gonna go plug my, la uh, my f camera in for a second because the battery is very low and I'm gonna try and find a way to make him stand. So I'll be all be. All right, I'm back and I've, I've technically solved it. Uh, he's just got to lean on something, which is not a good look. I'm kind of, kind of hoping they're not all like this. Uh, maybe it's just characters that have massive heads or something, but there are two Mickeys in here, which could potentially also have a balancing problem. Anyway, I'm going to go cut off the plastic for this. I'll be obby. Hey, there we go. All right, then. Uh, who would I like next? I mean, I'd really like... A Goofy now, to be honest, or a Mickey and a Sora, obviously. Uh, I mean, to be honest, everyone on here I would like. Like, th there's no duds. Maybe Chip and Dale are like my least wanted ones. I don't dislike Chip and Dale, but you know they're not the coolest like Kingdom Hearts characters because you you don't see them a lot really, but. Anyway, our next... <gasps> Yo! Let's go! It is Riku in his uh, Organization 13 outfit. Dude, that's cool. That's very nice. And the good thing is, because his eyes are like covered and stuff, they don't look derpy or anything. Oh, that's really nice. That is that is cool. His, his, you know, his jacket is very dark and very slightly reflective. Oh, all the like zips and stuff. That's really nice. I like that. I know uh, some people maybe aren't massive Riku fans. Actually, no, I think most of the Kingdom Hearts fan base are big Riku fans, right? Riku's cool. I mean, he's an edgy boy who gives in to the darkness. But, you know, he's still... Ah, oh, that's really cool. I'm so glad I got... Basically, I kind of... The bottom row are my mo were my most hyped, basically. Like, those four there... And, and Riku, normal Riku. Um, man, I'd love Axel, actually. That would go really well. And, best thing about Riku, he stands on his own. Look at that. Look at that, Donald. All right, then. Let's put him there. Ah, the last one. Uh, oh, that's weird. That's got, like, a circular thing cut out the top. <gasps> Has this been resealed? I mean, the, the, there's no rarities to these, I don't think. I think they're all the same rarity. So it's... <laughs> I mean, even if they were resealed, the only the only way it could be bad is if they didn't put a figure in. But no, the the glue is still there. I think I don't know. I didn't feel the glue on the others, but there's a figure inside. Yeah, there we go. Chuck that in the back. Uh, rip open the black bag. Is there a tear thing? Oh. Why isn't this opening as well as the others? Then okay. There we go. And our final guy. Ooh! Let's go! Is Roxas. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, his face is a bit strange. I think, yeah, his his face... His face is... That's weird. Is that the right expression? That's not the right expression, is it? He looks angry there. But this one looks a bit like... Sad. 
<laughs> right? That's not. It's not just me, is it? He looks like his eyebrows are furrowed there. And, uh, I guess kind of if you look at it from like a certain angle. I don't know that. It doesn't quite work. That's yeah. That's a bit weird. I don't know. But apart from that, sorry. Apart from that. He does look pretty cool though. I think that the face unfortunately is what lets him down. Hang on. But the rest of him is very detailed. I mean, look at that. He's got the wristband and stuff. The sho man, the shoes are proper detail. Look at that. That is nice. And we've got the back. He's got his like checkered kind of thing going on. The keyblade itself is shines very nice. That is really cool. It's uh yeah, his face is a bit weird. You know what, I'll give him a pass there. Now, here's the test. <gasps> Two out of three of them stand! Oh, let's go! Although it... It's such a strange lineup now. So, I mean... Roxas and Riku... Kind of... Maybe... Sort of... Have a link... The... the I mean, technically, he's... You know, the, the, the nobody of Sora. So, you know... Um, but yeah, I, I don't think Donald... I mean, Donald knows who Riku is. He, well, technically, they did team up, didn't they, at the end? Um, so, you know, the world that never was. There we are. And Roxas appeared in that world! There we go. So this is a team built around the world that never was. Because they're on the same team. And Sora fights Roxas uh, at the start of that stage. I'm going to put him back against a, 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 a thing now, because he's going to fall and make me sand. I'm going to drop the, uh, lens, the camera quickly. All right, well, that about wraps up the imminent Christmas Christmas special. That didn't sound right. But anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. It's been a lot of fun. I've opened some pretty cool figures. I'm incredibly happy with them. Roxas from a distance does look like he has some issues going on. But apart from that, everyone else looks great. Um, and yeah, I, I hope everyone watching has had a lovely Christmas or is having a lovely Christmas. Let me know in the comments below what did what did you get? Did you get any of these things? Because that, that would be cool. Let me know below. Um, and yeah, stick around because I've got quite a few videos coming up. Uh, I've got a wrap-up of 2021 with my pals over on Talk Toys, so keep an eye out for that. That'll be coming out in the next few days. And I've got quite a few reviews lined up in January as well, so uh, that's going to be quite exciting. So I'm going to go off and celebrate the rest of Christmas now and get, you know, really, really stuffed and a little bit drunk and sleep in and not have to work or anything. It's, it's going to be lovely. So, until the next video, Merry Christmas to all, and to all, a good night.